This is a brief overview of Screencast-O-Matic. Screencast-O-Matic is a simple, user-friendly screencasting tool. It can be used to record screens, webcams, and microphones. It also has built-in features for annotations and effects. If interested in using Screencast-O-Matic, contact itech at plu.edu and request download and install instructions. After installing Screencast-O-Matic, the first step is to open it. This window will show all Screencast-O-Matic projects after they're recorded. To start a new project, click Record. This brings up the Record Settings window. This is where all options for the screencast will be set. The first option is Screen. This will record all actions that are happening on the screen. The next is Webcam. Webcam will record the webcam only. Third. Both can be recorded at the exact same time. This produces an overlay that can be moved to different parts of the screen. For this example, we're going to record the screen only. After this option is set, it's now time to choose the size. Right now, full screen is set. That means that everything on the screen will be recorded. To record just a specific region, click Size and select one of the recording size options. This produces a black and white boundary box. Anything within this box will be recorded. Anything on the outside will be omitted. This is perfect for recording things such as a program or a website. Set up the stage by bringing in a window. It may need to be repositioned and resized to fill the entire boundary box. Once the visuals are set, it's time to set up the narration. When recording narration, ensure that you're recording in as quiet of a space as possible to reduce outside noise. And this will also produce better quality audio. If available, check out a USB microphone such as a Yeti or Snowball mic. If using an external mic, click Narration and select the microphone. After the microphone setup, click the red record button. After a brief countdown, the screencast recording will begin. Audio and video will be captured. Anything that happens on the screen will be captured. If you need to take a break, or if you're done recording, click the blue pause button. This pauses the recording. To continue recording where you left off, click the red record button. If you're done, click Done. Then click Save slash Upload. This brings up a basic editing tool where the beginning and end can be trimmed. Other editing tools can be accessed by clicking this Edit button. Full instructions are in the Screencast-O-Matic guide. For now, we're going to export the video by clicking the Menu button and choosing Save as Video File. This is where a file name can be set and a storage location. Set other options as desired and click Publish when done. This will render the video. Once the video is rendered, it will display in the storage location selected. This file can then be uploaded to Google Drive and the link can be shared via Sakai. If you have questions about how to use Screencast-O-Matic, email itech at plu.edu.